going on traders so this is Ricky with TechBet Solutions today the team and I traded Rex um, just like we did so yesterday just today it had a little bit more uh, more movement uh, so let me go ahead and refresh the screen let's see if I can get a better you know analysis there for you there we go okay so this is pretty much what we're looking at um, yesterday dropped down bounced at uh, 48 hit lows of 47 pick back up and cut it past the resistance at 50. Today this morning we had a little bit of better luck again, did the same thing, broke the resistance at 50 cents, and then that's where I ended up selling at 52, uh, or 51.99 to be exact. Brought in a total of $208 of profit with a $2,500 risk account. So again, I pretty much you know mimicked the trade that I did yesterday, just that you know we had a little bit of a better volume uh, size today uh, when it came to um, just other traders investing in Rex, which led to a little bit more of a you know a, a better high, um, upward momentum when it came to Rex itself. Um, yesterday I traded with a little bit more; it was three thousand, um, and you know just couldn't get that uh, just that pop from fifty cents that I was looking for. So I ended up selling after market hours um, around the fifty cent mark. So um, that's pretty much it for Rex against this, the simple you know same technique that we use usually you know not truly know because because when we trade penny stocks you're never 100 percent sure when it when it's gonna you know go up like you know 10 20 percent but you could set yourself up for success so we have three simple rules with type of solutions which is the group by starting it kind of just teaches you the fundamentals of trading so first rule is to not hold a penny stock overnight because these penny stocks are so volatile uh, we don't want to hold them overnight because we have no control over you know the pre-market hours or the aftermarket hours if you don't have access to those you know um, types of sales so with that you know if a, you know a, a company you know uh, sends out a, a order for delisting um, with that you know you can cut the price half or 25 percent of um, whatever it is that the original price is and it's an uncontrollable lot um, amount of loss um, so that's why we that's why we don't hold penny stocks under um, overnight uh, the second one is having our 10% rule. So if we see a 10% profit margin, therefore when it dropped down to 48 cents, for uh, you know 10% of 48 would be essentially almost five cents. It'd be you know like 0 0.048. Therefore, you know based on its history, it does have you know a lot of upward margin. Therefore, this does qualify for a 10% for, uh, potential. And then, you know, not always being 100% sure what's going to happen, you should set your stop loss, which means that, you know, you're buying at 48, um, if it drops below 46.99, then it's going to sell, so at least you can control, uh, you know, the amount of money you lose, therefore, instead of, you know, losing, you know, 10, 20% every single time you trade, and only making, you know, 20%, therefore, breaking even, um, and that's, like, you know, a really good, um, overall, like, you know, if, if You'll, you'll most likely continue to lose money if you don't set stop losses um, and the reason why stop losses are there and they're designed to be able to you know control the amount of money that you lose uh, so the only way you're going to be able to make money is if you can control how much money you're going to lose um, so with that you know i kept my losses at two and a half percent therefore i was going to sell at 46.99 an effort to you know um, just cut my losses short and you know increase my potential for potential gains um, so that's Rex itself. Um, this is kind of just a little what we did for LPCN that it was dropping um, throughout the week. It, uh, last week it was you know doing this whole thing where it was trading you know above 380 to 360, and then it dropped, it broke it, hit lows of 312, but mainly held about uh, above 320. Uh, so with that, I sent out the alert. You know, just wait for that upper momentum. Ended up picking up right around that 328 to 330 mark. Um, so with that itself, a couple traders were able to jump right in. And then, you know, luckily, um, LPCN now is at 351. So with that, we saw about a 6% gain um, with LPCN. And again, it's just, you know, setting yourself up for success um, and kind of looking at the trends, which, what it, uh, which was last week. So right here, this drop, we're just mimicking that, waiting for the bounce. It bounced at 3, um, well, yeah, around 333. Really at 335 is where it started to pick up, and then you know, traders could have just um, sold as of now at 351 as it's still holding. It's at 354. 
So, um, NUGT was a pretty big, you know, stock this week just because of the increase in taxes. You know, usually would think that gold would go up, but in a sense, gold actually went down. And uh, what this led to is a lot of margin for profit. So it has this gap that it needs to fill. So it ends up breaking around like 675 to 650. We're gonna probably see like a huge pop. Uh, just there being no true resistance. Uh, but overall, we're just kind of waiting for these little pops as it continues to staircase up, which is, you know, showing upward momentum and then hopefully, you know, plateaus and then pops up and then we can get back into trading it a little bit in this, uh, more in the $7 areas. Uh, but that's that's the analysis itself um, for the three stocks we traded today. Today is Friday, so the market is going to be open for uh, closed for the weekend. Um, and if you guys haven't done so already, uh, we're probably going to send out, you know, just kind of like asking you guys if you guys think you know any of these shirts would be something that you guys would be interested in um pretty much we try, just try to put them together um one of my roommates he's a graphic designer and helped us out with the little design uh, and we're going to be putting more out there so just tell us you know what price range you guys would be interested in buying some of these for because you know we, uh, there really isn't no uh, no true attire uh, or no true clothing uh, that is designed for day traders so maybe we can put something together just so you guys can uh, you know have good amount of or good, good types of uh, day trading clothes um, it's to show people that you know you're an investor uh, but if you guys have any other questions I'm gonna put the information down below if you guys would like to join tech Fund solutions the link is going to be provided for you down below as well um, and you guys feel free to email me at any time uh, my email is going to be down below it's techbuds at mail.com if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to me thank you guys again have a good Friday and have a safe weekend take care